Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. How are you guys doing? So you guys, for today's video, I am going to go into uh, the G37. Now this is how much I have spent on this car total. This has been a very requested video and now I finally want to do it. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just get straight into the video. How are you guys doing, man? I miss you guys. So starting off with number one, uh, we do have the headlights. Now uh, the headlights were around $470, but they are worth it. Now the stock OEM ones were really good on this car, but I really just wanted to kind of upgrade the pictures and as well kind of a look now this is the gtr style headlights as you guys can see the 2015 and up gtr had this uh line going in the headlights so i guess they wanted to mimic that for the g37 sedan as you guys can see it is also sequential which is actually a pretty upgrade i love that it's sequential like it just goes like the audis it's actually pretty nice first of all getting in here was a pain in the ass you can do donuts here i, I actually like this place but getting in here all you heard was like my sweater hitting down on the ground so bad okay so for the next thing we do have the front splitter now i have been through three to four front splitters i have been through four different front splitters this one by far has uh, held out through the year actually and it's been doing pretty good and i do this is honestly one of my favorite splitters for the g37 sedan i'm not a big s bumper guy so kind of spice up the stock bumper you put that splitter looks way better do not get the three piece because the three piece will fall off this splitter costs around 124 bucks uh and i do have warranty on it so just in case this breaks I can get a new one and uh the warranty definitely it's like 10 bucks definitely get the warranty though i'll put everything in the link in the description below so you guys if you guys want to buy it go ahead so now for the next thing by far the most expensive on this car is my rims and my tires now my rims alone costed around 800 dollars uh i regret them that i did buy these type of rims but i was so in a hurry and i just saw these and honestly out of the, all the ones i saw at the time these were the best these are shift 20 inch spring rims now these are good rims and they are accommodated by 245 45 20 uh kumo super sport uh all season tires now these tires are so freaking good they really stick to the ground uh and they look they look pretty mean i really like the kumo design i did get tire lettering um and tire lettering will be for probably for a next video not a lot of people put tire lettering on the sedans so um yeah i mean i think i think these rims look really well what do you guys think I personally really love these rims, um, but yeah, the, those are those are my rims. These cost around eight hundred and forty dollars, uh, and my tires alone cost it around a thousand. Um, that's with warranty, everything, just in case. Like I get a, uh, if I get uh, if I hit a sidewall, and obviously sidewalls are unpatchable. They can send me a new one for free, so it's all good. I tell you, warranty is number one thing when it comes to car parts. But yeah, that's uh. So my total with tires and rims, 1900, which is probably the normal amount is what you're gonna spend. If you don't wanna get new tires, you get used tires, you can get them for like maybe 600, something like that. Now, the next thing, you guys probably don't know this at all. It, even I don't even think I ever mentioned it. I do have diode dynamic taillights. Now what that is, it's a wire that actually goes in to the stock harness, and instead of using the ball for the turn signal, it uses the ring. So I'll show you guys how it looks now. Now, uh, these taillights, 100% worth it. They're around $45 just for the wires. They're not hard to install, it's just a clip-on wire. Uh, so it's only 45 bucks, 100% recommend it. It really does spice up the, the rear end at night, the back of the car, especially at night when people see the little bulb, like, no, it doesn't look cool. It's way better with the rings. It just looks way sportier, in my opinion. So 100% get yourself the diode dynamic. It looks so good, just look at that. On to the next thing. Now, this is probably the first thing I ever did to my car. Um, and if you guys have been rocking with me since the Moogie channel, which I doubt you did, that that channel has around 5.8k subs. So if you guys are from there and came here, congrats, bro. I like respect to you, day ones. Also, if you guys, uh, before I keep continue on with the video, uh, get yourself some merch at Dreams to Reality dot shop. Uh, we got plenty of merch. Winter edition is coming soon. It's white and blue, especially black and blue, and we'll come out with a Christmas edition. So uh, yeah, you guys can use the code CLC Nation right here to get free shipping on your whole order. So uh, come on, man. Be come on, help me out. I need car parts, man. But the best thing I've ever done to this car was by far my carbon fiber spoiler. Now by far, uh, this really didn't make a difference. Now, uh, what's crazy is that I didn't order this one. I, or I originally ordered the one with the arc, which I'm not a fan of at all. Uh, I just ordered it because that's the only spoiler that I thought you could get on the G37 sedan. But uh, they sent me this one by accident and literally said, hey, send it back, we'll send you back the right one. I apologize, they even gave me a full refund for it. 
But I was like, no, you know what? Let me just keep it. And honestly, best choice I've ever made till this day. I hate the one with the arc. I feel like it doesn't look good for a car with stock wheels at the time. It doesn't just look good on a car other than black. I feel like that's just me though. Um, you know, if you have it, congrats. Uh, you know, everybody builds their car in a different way. I just love the sleek design. It just, it's not too aggressive, but you know it's there. And I just, that's my favorite thing about this car. Like it's there and it looks aggressive, but at the same time, it just looks like it's stock. I don't know, it just, it just gives me that type of vibe. I, I just love it. Now, the next thing, we have to pop the hood because we have short ram cold air intakes and I do not recommend them. Yeah, short ram, yeah, cold air intakes are cool, but do not get short rams. I'll tell you, I've never been a JDM guy. Uh, if I had a muscle car and you gave me a muscle car, I would know exactly how to build it. It's my first JDM car. I didn't think much about a short ram because short rams are really popular in the muscle car world. And uh, honestly, I was just like, you know what, let me just, let me just put short rams, and I regret it to this day. I definitely get long tubes. But if you are looking to get short rams, get yourself from Airflow Dynamics. They have double plated heat shields on the headers, as you guys can see. It's not even hot, man. It actually feels really good. Not even hot whatsoever. Might be my frostbite fingertips, but it's actually really cold. But uh, the, I mean, they make a good sound. You guys wanna hear it? I know you guys wanna hear it. Let's, you guys hear uh yeah so that's the, that's the cold air it takes uh they sound pretty damn good uh especially in the cabin when you gas your car but for overall performance i'd 100 just go with the long tubes you'll definitely notice a difference um from the short rims you guys can't really tell the difference until you tune your car but uh i definitely recommend the i definitely recommend airflow dynamics if you do want to go for short rims but again i do not recommend them again i am not a jdm guy i am a i'm a muscle guy car at heart uh so i'm only i only like muscle cars but I thought, hey, why not, man? Just bring a little muscle car stuff into the JDM world, you know? Now, the next thing, uh, which was actually a really good deal, I have my full catback exhaust. Now, my catback exhaust costed around $200, and it's a $600 exhaust. Shout out to my guy, Silver Fox underscore G37. He really hooked it up, but you guys want an exhaust like that, uh, it's going to be around $600, $700. It's a Top Speed Pro mufflers and a Motordyne Y-pipe. Here's how it sounds. It doesn't sound too loud. It doesn't sound uh, too quiet. That's what I love about this exhaust. So... Again, not too loud, not too quiet, which is exactly what I like. Uh, and I don't regret buying this exhaust to this day. Uh, I, you guys probably see my license plate frame. That's another big one. Come on, you guys got to get yourself a license plate frame for a built car. Here we go. I'm speeding because I gotta poop really bad. Come on, if you're if you got a built car and you get pulled over by the police, have them a little left. You know, might get yourself off with a ticket. You don't know. <laughs> that is probably all for the exterior of the vehicle. Uh, now going into the interior, which is only probably one thing. Now with the interior, yes, I did get the paddle shift. This is a 2013 G37 X, not a 2013 G37 XS. There is a major difference when it comes to the X. And the XS, uh, it's just paddle shifters. You get sports seats. You get the illuminated uh, the door, uh, the door floor panel. You get a bunch of stuff in the XS. But uh, the paddle shifter kit does cost around four hundred dollars. I got mine for hundred and fifty, which is a big steal. They really do work well. I mean, just they feel good. These look brand new too. Which uh, the four hundred dollar kits cost? They look used. Which these don't. These are honestly probably one of the best things I bought. And I am not. I know. I know you guys. Uh, don't look at the knob. I just ordered a Q50 one. Don't look at that. But uh, the car is not done. It's 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 wrapped. Uh, it's carbon fiber all over the place. But uh, it needs to be get, get rewrapped. But you guys. Guys, that is all that I did to my G37 sedan and if you're interested I will keep uh, all my stuff down below so you guys can know uh, I do have side skirts coming a Q60 shifter uh, I do have what else hopefully someday I want to get the ski box I want to do the cylinder supercharger and I'm gonna do the long tubes and I am uh, I am getting down pipes uh, or maybe high full cats I still haven't decided but uh yeah that is all you guys this is a G37 it's, honestly it's a beast I, I, again, I'm a muscle car guy. I don't know shit about JDM. Until now, I really do know a lot about JDMs now. But 
this is uh this is the car man this is my 2013 g37 sedan if you're new to the channel that's that's my baby right there uh, i love this car to death hopefully something hopefully i don't get rid of it if i do get the ss uh obviously if i do get the ss and i have to get rid of it it is what it is honestly how would you guys feel about a raffle giveaway about, with this car i don't know i'm just get, throwing out suggestions i feel like it would be really cool um but yeah car's fully serviced car does have some software issues which i do have to go to infinity about they're gonna reset the software do some stuff about that but uh yeah that is my car everyone yeah i know you guys are looking for a poll i'll give you guys a poll and then we and then we have to go i'm sorry but we have to it's too damn freezing and i have to get home it's turning dark out all right no car all right all right let's get associated a little bit all right And you guys, that is all for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Woo! If you're new to the channel, hit that little bell notification so you'll be notified. Be a part of COC Nation, you already know. But you guys, hopefully more uh, soon to come for the G37 as well as the Camaro and our new project cars on the way. So you guys, please stay tuned. Get yourself some merch at www.dreamsreality.shop. I love you guys. Yeah, there we go. It just sounds like a beast. But you guys, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.